This project was an opportunity to design a house for ourselves, a place to work and rest, a space that enhances the ritual of every day. Quiet, reflective space, not spectacular. Perimeters that expand to engage the landscape and mediate privacy and the environment, a building that would function well while aging beautifully. It was a project to explore personal ideas, evolve the principles of our practice while maintaining a quiet restraint and purity of intention. We lived on the site for a number of years while contemplating the sun and wind patterns, the way the weather approached and the sound of the ocean in a distance up through the hills as well as an interest to rise up and allow these natural aspects more directly into our space. The house was conceived as a single space that could be divided into zones to live. This is the ground floor plan, where north is to the right side of the page. The land falls gently to the street from the, at the south towards the ocean, where you enter the site via a driveway to the entry landing. The central core houses all utilities and also provides a graduated sense of privacy between the sleeping and bathing areas at the south and the entry and social spaces to the north. The east perimeter can be entirely open to the site while the more solid perimeter to the west provides protection. We found the aspect of the site we enjoyed the most was sitting under the eucalypts with northern sun during the day and the shelter the canopies provided whilst enjoying the sea breezes. We were drawn to the feeling of achieving this throughout the year, and the origins of the design can be traced back to this idea of a platform floating over the site under the gum trees. The deep protective roof eaves, the connection to place and quiet reflective spaces with a place to sit and engage with the landscape by sliding walls away were, were, were also ideas that appealed to us when we started assembling early thoughts for the design in 2014. This was overlaid with experiences traveling with my wife through Japan at this time, observing lessons from the Kenenji temple that sat high on the hill, but maintained a modest presence from the exterior and stuck with us. The overwhelming sense of composure heightened by the approach depicted in the web sketch. And coupled with the format of enclosure in relationship to light and landscape, which we attempted to capture in the right sketch, providing, provided incredible insight and reference. From this, other ideas and requirements were carefully introduced, maintaining clarity whilst considering the requirements we needed to live. This motivated the development of the central core, which provides privacy and integrates all utilities whilst maintaining free circulation around the perimeter. The format of the house was established and developed over a number of years, requiring the proportions and structure that inform the way the spaces operate. The structure of the house also helps define smaller areas and functional zones within the larger spaces. External timber screens articulate the form and provide an opportunity to establish a layered adjustable perimeter. The role of the screens is one of both function but also gesture, where their simple operation promotes meaningful engagement and daily awareness as they regulate the internal light and privacy. When the screens are open, they create a large volume with protected privacy along the elevations between neighbouring properties and street front, depending on which areas are being used. The screens define the external surface, but also allow the landscape to be filtered through the delicate timber patterns. They mediate the quality of light, wind and privacy and promote a direct engagement with the external environment while providing a direct backdrop for the silhouette of coastal vegetation. Contemplating our experience in Japan also encouraged awareness of the subtleties of the site. Light changing through the day, vegetation through the screens, and shadows on the backdrop of surfaces. So this idea of capturing the feeling of a building that was connected to its surroundings became a driving force beyond a written brief in a typical sense. There were no rooms in this project that had the conventional expectation of the room, with walls and a door. The adaptable zoning extends to the landscape where the house can be almost entirely opened and the external screen adjusted to expand internal volumes 
or define aspects of the site. The structural solution was elegantly resolved to afford this flexibility through a timber structure. Working closely with the landscape architect ensured the full experience of the site and larger area beyond the physical perimeter of the house. The prevailing use of timber was important. It requires care and application and allows for the finesse of cladding, strength of structure, and durability of hardwood ply lining. So the timber is filtering, supporting, and cladding. It also becomes the finish and surface that provides the sound, texture, smell, and atmosphere of the space. It's more integral than simply a material finish. There's a beautiful quality in the smell of the timber and the sound of footsteps across the hardwood floor. The house is made up of a number of timber layers. The structure of the house is constructed from beautiful reclaimed flat butt timber posts and floor beams, which we honed and finished over a number of months. The structure is visible both internally and externally, and we embrace that idea. So when the wedge of grey timber and the screens are popped open, the warm timber structure reveals itself like a precisely corrupted piece of joinery. The entry sequence is deliberately heavy. The weight of the front door, followed by the dark compressive quality of the stairs, rising up to the upper level before being released into the more private zones. The sleeping spaces utilize the continuation of the screens as an internal detail and offer a subdued sudden light quality and privacy, whilst also permitting selected morning and evening light. The internal scale of the house expands toward the north and maintains a substantial presence for a small footprint. One minute. Okay. Thank you. Which becomes a key contribution to its efficiency, cost, and sustainability. Internally regulated by passive cooling, with no air conditioning and a single heat source. Alongside its use of durable reclaimed materials, including the structure. Throughout the day, the feeling of the space is changed by the way light is permitted, reflected, filtered, or excluded through the screens. It's a powerful gesture, and it's even more dramatic and varied than anticipated. <laughs> 